hello welcome to this tutorial in this video we are going to look at quadratic graph and in the quadratic graph we'll be looking at interpretation of quadratic graph so we take the problem study the quadratic graph below and answer the questions that follow so we have the quadratic graph a find the roots and the maximum point of the function represented by the curve b from your results in a find the equation of the curve represented on the graph in the form p plus qx plus rx squared is equal to zero where p q and r are numerical constants c find the values of x when y is negative 2 and d find the gradient of the curve at x is equal to 1.5 so we start with a for problem a we'll be looking at the roots the roots of the equation represented by the curve is where the curve cuts the x axis so we have the first place here and the second place here so at that point x is equal to 1 uh, or x is equal to 4. Now we have done the justice to the roots of the function represented by the curve. So now we look at the maximum point. The maximum point is also known as the turning point and uh, this is the point. So at this point we find the coordinates so the x coordinate there is 2.5 so that's 2.5 comma 2.2 so it's halfway between this line 2 and the next line and each line here is 0.4 so it's in the middle so we have it as 2.2 so the maximum point is 2.5 comma 2.2 now we go to problem B for problem B from your results in A find the equation of the curve represented on the graph in the form P plus QX plus RX squared is equal to 0 where P, Q and R are numerical constants and uh, now from these roots we can form two factors there so that is x minus 1 equal to 0 or x minus 4 equal to 0 if you take this one to this side you have x minus 1 equal to 0 taking this 4 to the left hand side or x minus 4 equal to 0 since the two factors are equal to 0 we their product will be equal to zero so we have x minus 1 into x minus 4 equal to zero expanding this so we have x squared minus 5x plus 4 equal to zero since the curve has a maximum point so we are going to multiply the equation here by negative 1 if it has a minimum point we leave it like this but since it has a maximum point we are going to multiply the equation by negative one so doing that we have a uh, multiply this so that it will look at this form so the constant is starting multiplying positive 4 by negative 1 we have negative 4 multiply negative 5x by negative 1 we have plus 5x then minus x squared is equal to zero that gives the equation of the curve represented by the graph so now we go to c find the values of x when y is negative 2 so we go to the graph this is y negative 2 we draw a line a broken line here and uh, find the point of intersection of the curve and the line of y equals negative 2 
So we now look for the x coordinates of the point of intersection of the curve and the line y is equal to negative 2. So the first point here corresponds to this. The second point here we read it to x axis. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Each line here is point 0.2. So 1 to x is equal to 0 0.4 or x is equal to 4.2, 4.4, 4 4.6. So these are the values of x when y is equal to negative 2. So we go to problem C. Find the gradient of the curve at x is equal to 1.5. Uh, at x is equal to 1.5 on the curve is here point we draw a tangent to that point so drawing the tangent to the point we locate one other point so this is one point on the line so we can locate this point and that point is uh, 3 comma 4 and the other point we have here is 1.5 comma 1.2 since this 4 4 4 4 this is 4 0 0.8 this is 1.2 so gradient is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 if we take this point as x1 y1 and this point as x2 y2 so we have y1 will be 4 minus y2 that's 1.2 over x1 will be 3 minus 1.5 so if we simplify this we have a 1.842 that gives the gradient of the curve the approximate gradient of the curve at the point x is equal to 1.5 so this is the end of this tutorial um, until we come your way again we say goodbye